do women only like jerks that treat them like shit? Why do guys only want bitchy bimbos who walk all over them? And if the PC fans want to come to the comment section and fight me, you can. There are console peasants I usually just respond to once and I move on because most of them after they get dunked on learn their lesson and they don't say dumb things anymore. And so they get very boring and I have no more of a reason to reply to them. Console peasants are the one thing keeping this channel alive. I mean, let's face it, it's, it's not a lie. Well, that and Charlie. <laughs> JTech TV, however, is a special case, alongside Colt Eastwood. They just continuously say the dumbest things, and they continue to be propaganda channels. Well, Colt Eastwood's more of a propaganda channel, because at least he has the intelligence to be able to form propaganda. JTech, on the other hand, basically gets two stones, rubs them together, and thinks that's how you put out a fire. He's amusing, and quite honestly, I just don't ever get tired of his takes. It's hard not to love him. I mean, he kind of looks like Grendel from Beowulf. Anyways, anyways, I've seen JTech try to do what he calls uh, trolling or what he considers trolling. The guy thinks that he's an artist of the sorts. And you know what? Maybe he is trolling all of us, but I've never seen JTech get mad. Thus today's video, seeing how furious, how angry JTech gets and seeing him go on full defense force for Sony and Days Gone. I didn't want to talk about Days Gone. See, I'm not like the console fanboys and the peasants. When a game doesn't do well, I don't like to rub it in the face of other people. I don't like making videos, laughing at them, or dancing and celebrating at a game's failure, because that just seems shitty, and I have a life. But Days Gone, it, well, it didn't live up to expectations. It was extremely buggy and glitchy. The writing was, ugh, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. I mean, it's really pretty, you know, graphics, you know, s snow stays. I guess that's, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, the frame rate drops like crazy, but you know, PlayStation fanboys get what they can. They're tolerant, they accept anything. But the game didn't get the legendary score that they thought it would. I mean, personally, seeing the trailers and the gameplay reveal, I never thought this was going to be a 10 out of 10 worthy game or a 9 out of 10. The art direction was bland. The writing seemed very corny. The gameplay looked generic. Nothing about the game really stood out other than the fact that it's pretty and it's a zombie game. So the PlayStation fanboys, you know, they spent a good, what, two, three years? I've lost track. Basically hyping this game up and rubbing it in the face of PC gamers, Xbox gamers, and even Nintendo gamers, telling everybody, when Days Gone releases, just, just, just you wait. We're gonna, you're gonna be sorry you didn't get the PlayStation. You're gonna be sorry. It meant a lot to them for this game to do well. I mean, honestly, unless I have an investment in Sony stocks, I couldn't give two shits how well the game does. The only reason I would ever want it to do well is so that PlayStation gamers don't get burnt. That's it. That's literally it. But it's kind of hard to, you know, not want them to get burnt when they spent a good two years mocking you for not being able to play this game. So anyway, JTech was a part of that crowd. He really, really, really invested a lot of his time into mocking other gamers for not being able to play this game. So then the game releases and the scores are okay. That's it. I mean, they're okay. They're not bad. They're not great. They're just okay. But the game is a glitchy mess, as I said, and people are mocking that. People are mocking the fact that the game didn't live up to God of War levels of amazing. And now the PlayStation fanboys, you know, they took the L, most of them anyway, and they walked away, but not JTech. JTech refuses. He absolutely refuses to take the L. And now he's in full damage control mode. 
You know, it's really funny that JTech uses the PlayStation Trophy jingle as his opening to every single one of his videos, when the fact is that the guy has a very piss poor trophy collection and claims to be the biggest PlayStation gamer out there. Hell, I have people who watch me who are primarily PC gamers and they have a much more impressive trophy collection. I understand that I'm going to lose a lot of subscribers for what I'm about to say, but hey, fuck it. You are going to lose subscriber! <laughs> oh. uh, no, JTech, I don't think you have to worry about losing subscribers. Uh, you know very well that the people who follow you are fringe PlayStation fanboys, not PlayStation gamers. They're going to eat your shit up. Well, then again, no, maybe I'm wrong. I think the majority of people that come to sub to you come to watch your videos and just dislike them because they're really bad. By the way, can I just point out something here that I find amusing? All the games on his fucking dashboard, every single one, it's a PlayStation exclusive. YouTube doesn't pay my bills and it never has. Well, with that viewership, of course it's never going to pay your bills. With your hot takes, you're never going to get anywhere. You'll always be the failure on YouTube, the stepping stone that everyone uses to move ahead. Almost every single person that has criticized you has surpassed you. You ever wonder why? Let me just say, for the PC community, and the Xbox community that has been talking bad about Days Gone because of a bug and a glitch. Oh, well, I mean, it's been several bugs, not, not, not a bug. It's been quite a few. Come on. You guys are bold. You guys are so fucking bold. This grown ass man, he made a video at 3.22 in the morning thinking about other grown ass men. <laughs> so gay sometimes i swear xbox quantum break you want me to help you out i can make a fucking video of all the bugs and glitches people have found reviewers have found the pc community don't get me started on you guys you guys introduced us to early access literally you guys pay for bugs and glitches god the anger, the frustration in him. Being on the receiving end. JTech is on the receiving end. He's taking a major L and it really hurts him. You know, this is whataboutism. Dave Gone has a lot of glitches. Uh, well, let me ask you, wh what about qu qu Quantum Break? It's like, we're not talking about Quantum Break, bitch. We're talking about Days Gone. They made abortions 100% illegal in Alabama. Uh, yeah, but uh, what, what, uh, what about those uh, uh, SGWs? You cannot neglect a certain subject by bringing up another subject. Stick to the topic, all right? It's okay to criticize Sony and Ben Studio for this game. It's okay, let it go. Drop the fanboyism. The PC fanboys have more bugs and glitches in the games they brought than all of the home console gaming systems combined this whole fucking generation. It's bot. I don't know why you included the R. It's not brought. It's bot. Games we bought. I mean, I don't exactly know what all of these PC games that are buggy and glitchy are. The only game I had any real trouble with so far this year was Dragon Quest. But even then I just found a quick fix for it online because you know, I can, I can actually fix my games on the PC. Over there on the consoles, you got those bugs and glitches on Days Gone. You, you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> you have to wait for it to get patched. And that's if the developers even want to. You guys should shut the fuck up. Xbox fans, all your bug and glitchy games that used to be exclusives are now on a PC and they're let me say, still buggy and glitchy. And if the PC fans want to come to the comments section and fight me, you can. Oh, you're actually going to reply to comments. All right. Okay, let's do this. That's probably the reason why you guys always have to mod your games. You have to always make them better than what the developers release them as. Nah, most people mod their games because developers just suck at making games these days. They don't know how to make an interesting story. They don't know how to make interesting mechanics. So, you know, over here on the PC, we have a very, very, very strong modding community that deeply cares about video games. So they'll go in and they'll add stuff to make the games look better, run better, you know. 
I got to make a video. I really do. I got to make a video talking about the benefits of modding and why it's so fucking awesome. Uh, anyways, carry on. Nobody is perfect. And some of our favorite games, my games, and some of your favorite games have bugs and glitches. Oh yeah, they do. You know, New Vegas does. That's for sure. Uh, Dark Souls on the PC does. That's for sure. But you know what I don't do? Um, I don't defend it. I don't damage control it. These games are buggy and glitchy. But instead of sitting here and being a little bitch about people telling me, Shut up, dog. Yeah, in instead of sitting here and acting like a little bitch about it, I go and do something about it. I go and mod the games. Oh, wait, that's right. You're a play you game on PlayStation. Th never mind. Fallout 3 or 4, bugs and glitches. Grand Theft Auto 3, 4, or 5, bugs and glitches. All of the fucking Assassin's Creed's, bugs and glitches. Call of Duty, bugs and glitches. There's not a single game that has not released over the last five years of this generation that has not had to have been patched or update in some way to fix a bug or glitch. And you guys know, open world games have at least one or more bugs or glitches. I mean, besides the fact that this is whataboutism on your part, you seem to think that all the bugs and glitches are equal. You know, it's like when Christians say sin is equal in the eyes of God. All sin is equal. I'm like, no, bitch. No, it's not. You bash a little kid's head in with a rock. I don't see how that's equal in the eyes of God as robbing a piece of candy. Just like with these glitches, not all of them were consistent across the board and not all of them were equally bad. The bugs in Days Gone, they weren't horrendous by any means, but they did break immersion. They caused people to have to restart their PS4s. They would break levels. They'd get you trapped in the earth. It was a wide range of issues for almost everyone. I understand what I saw in 2016. Ah, oh, 2016. Such good memories. Such good memories. Back when Rags made really good videos. And that's how I found out about you. Oh, those were the days of our lives. As Queen once said. Oh, I, I keep... I don't know. I have a lot more fun just talking in general than watching your video. So that's why I'm going off tangent randomly. I saw 89 or 81 81. And then I saw each and every one of the Xbox fans and Steven Slender. We're in the color. We're in the age of 18. Curtis, I'm exclusive. Or he didn't lose on the platforms. And we're back to the hard way. Um, if anything's better, we're going to race my color. Yeah, I didn't even talk about it. I don't even agree. It was only on PS4 and PC, but I didn't even talk about it. 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 But this game, you guys didn't know the developer. And so earlier this month, when the developer came on the PlayStation channel, like, you know, the developer made all the side platforms. First of all, the PlayStation exclusives. And the developer called me. That's right, we're going to make a PlayStation exclusive game for the PlayStation game. I think I'm sure that just hope that the game might get ported to your platform of choice later on down the line. All of that turned into hatred. When you went on the internet, you tried to find anything bad. Not true. Not, not even remotely close to the truth. PlayStation fanboys, they ate up the shit, alright? They ate that shit up. And they started to just spam it all over the internet, ridiculing other people who play on Xbox. They primarily did it to Xbox gamers because, you know, the PlayStation fanboy community has been really cringe this generation. They spammed it mainly to Xbox gamers and sometimes the PC gamers. And you guys wouldn't shut up about it. You'd rub it in the face of people claiming that they'll never be able to play it. And now here we are. Here we are. And this is the end result. You did the same thing for Spider-Man. Oh, it doesn't have enough puddles. It's downgraded. Oh, God of War, Kratos can't jump. It's bad. Oh, Bloodborne, it's not good. It's not as good as Dark Souls 2. It's bad. You guys do this with every fucking exclusive. And every fucking time, it bites you in the ass. I've never actually heard anyone make the claim Dark Souls 2 is better than Bloodborne. Anyone who made that claim is retarded. Dark Souls 2 is easily the black sheep of the Souls series. See, it's, it's the little things you say like that that are far more interesting than your own takes. But, I don't know, Jay. It's almost like, get this, it's almost like if you foster an audience and a group of people who spend all their time bragging about games they can play that other people can't, 
you're going to annoy people. And those people are going to point out little nuances in those games that you love. And sometimes they end up finding things like lies about a game's graphical fidelity, bugs and glitches. Maybe they start realizing that a lot of these Sony games, they're not actually that great. Maybe they're overhyped. Point being, if you don't want to face toxicity, don't create it. I mean, Jay, you went on Twitter and you claimed that was a pedophile, all because I'm against Sony censorship. You're in no position to be complaining about other people and the things they say. I'm surprised that you guys are not tired. I really am. Jay, we are tired of you. I mean, I'm not. It's, it's endless amusement for me, but PlayStation gamers, Xbox gamers, PC gamers, Nintendo gamers, they're all tired of you. They're tired of your bullshit. Quit being a toxic asshole. Uh, this is Dreams. Um, they're working hard. Everyone that has Dreams Early Access, they're working hard. They're making literally dreams come true. Um, but you just took a crack at PC gamers for Early Access. What the fuck? Where's the consistency? I remember someone that I don't believe is specifically an Xbox fanboy or specifically a PC fanboy because he does own multiple platforms of different people's choices and that is Broken Games. I remember him saying that Dreams was trash. And the live stream is still up, but all of his Twitter posts of him saying that have been deleted by himself. Isn't that motherfucker the one that's the host of the Weapon Wheel podcast? God, that guy's cringe as fuck. So... Again, people like talking shit until something comes out. Then they can't talk shit no more. Because when everybody has the game, when everybody's streaming the game, when everybody's posting YouTube videos of the game, when everybody's posting a photo mold pictures of the game, well, you're just going to be sitting there watching us enjoy the game. I would tell you guys to play some great AAA exclusives of your choice, whether you're on Xbox or PC, but as we all know, you, you don't have any. That's why your focus has turned to Days Gone. Prove me wrong, please. Prove me wrong. Okay, so here is uh, my score, versus, trophy score versus JTAC TV. Yes, I know I sound very shit right now. I'm in the middle of a cold. Uh, so I'm actually off work for, for uh, till later on for another four hours. I've got... Anyway. But this is my trophies versus his when I do 70-hour work weeks. Alright? And I also play lots of other platforms. So we'll go up. So... Kingdom Hearts 3, that, you know that console exclusive he was hyping up? Hasn't even fucking finished it. I've not finished it, but I don't have to fucking time. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy, hasn't got. Red Dead Redemption 2, he's only played, like, fucking hardly any of. We've both got the plat in Spider-Man PS4. I've got Sonic Forces plat. Until Dawn, that exclusive he was on about, guess what? He hasn't even fucking finished it. It's one of the easiest games ever to platinum. Because you just go through and make all the opposite choices that you didn't fucking make the first time and get the collectibles. He hasn't even finished it. Alright. GTA 5 hasn't got the platinum. Oh, Grim Fandango. You know that fucking exclusive before it came to PC uh, that he was hyping about? Grim Fandango remastered that Sony, you know, put the money for door? Well, guess what? He hasn't even fucking played it. At least I fucking played it and platinumed it. South Park, the Fretcher Put Hole, Platinum. Oh, GTA 3. Bet did better than him. Fucking Dirt Rally, he hasn't even got. Let's see what else. Oh, Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep, he actually <laughs> <coughs> did some on. Wowie. Oh, well fucking done. Knack, PS4 exclusive. Hasn't even fucking got 25% of the trophies in it. Because he fucking doesn't play it. Super Hot VR. He hasn't even got a PSVR, this PS4 advocate. So he hasn't played PSVR. What a fucking loon. Oh, Order 1886, the only game he platinumed. Good job, JTEC.
holy shit. And I thought no bullshit. And the quartering made some terrible ass videos. This, uh, uh, I guess they're holding your beer now. Oh, JTech, you never change. You're the same. You haven't evolved and you haven't downgraded. I mean, you're the most consistent YouTuber on the platform in terms of how awful you are. That's about it. Anyways, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video. I maybe had a little too much to drink, but it's been one hell of a ride. Subscribe, rate, I don't know, d d do whatever the fuck you want. I'll be seeing all of you in your gorgeous sexy faces very soon. <laughs> Free Congo sucks ass.